but it looks like that instead they will go for the flex so option. Flex, yeah. This time though, you know, it wasn't actually the Jax because I think Domwon had the read that this could be happening. They go, you can kind of scale up. Uh, whereas Ganking, Humano gonna get locked up with the stun flashes away. There will be a summon to burn there. Khan here underneath the tower. Elio was spotted on vision. Khan's gonna try and turn back in. No flash on the Gwen. Remember. Canyon on his way up, Armor just trying to play with Khan for the moment, but <laughs> Khan just keeps dodging around, and the Orioles like, I can't stay any longer because Canyon could be here. But so many wards covering there. Guys are going in for the fight down towards the bottom side. Bell putting a chunk down onto Kazi. There's the TP coming in from Darmon. And Kaiser will be sacrificed for this one, you have to think. Showmaker looking for the flash cube. Can't quite land it. Kazi able to dodge to the side. Kaiser able to kill off Bell. Gets first blood. It's answered. Darmon will take the two for one deal in the bottom lane. Nicely done here. Showmaker with the TP advantage. He held onto the TP. He won the mid lane there. And now down to bot. Kaiser does Arma's get a done. kill, but Armut. No, no. Tell us who you're supporting. No flash on Showmaker, and Kaiser is making his way towards mid lane. Humanoid has six. Stun's gonna land there on Showmaker. There's a shockwave coming back as well. And Showmaker, no flash as you said. Betty caught out underneath the tower, but Bevel is blocking this beautifully. And Yoa can't get the autos off in the end. They do manage to do it. Mad equalize the scoreline. So, the boards like the Leona. You have the ability to lock him down, and they're trying to punish on bot side knowing that Canyon is top. Bell can't see Ghost. He couldn't jump to him because of the smoke screen. That's the reason he had to flash out. I should get at least a couple of plates. The Showmaker continues to harass. Quickness coming out. Bell gonna go in with a charm. There's the bullet time. Solar Flare was short from Kaiser. Didn't land it on Ghost, didn't get the stun, and he got the slow, and that doesn't stop the bullet time from raining down. Nice thing there for Kazi is you kind of have to flash as soon as you see the quickness. You can't really react to uh, the quickness W. It's that short range as Canyon looks for a fight down towards this bottom lane. Dragon's Rage on Elioi. He's going to try and trade this one back. There's a oh! below. Incredible predictions from Bevel. That's the reason he's one of the best in the world. And now Kazi underneath the tower. The Moonlight Vigil will not save you now. Two quick kills to Darmwan. TP on him, so won't be able to join a fight if it does erupt on the top side. Darmwan, all five players within arm's reach of each other. Kazi trying to come across, but Khan is holding him at bay. Mad Lions, another charge of this Rift Herald will come in for Darmon Kia. Mad Lions smite it away. Bell going in with the quickness. There's a charm bullet time. And the combo's just too darn deadly. Elioia is down. Bereft of life, he rests in peace. And perhaps with it, Mad's hopes of winning this game. Darmon just make it look so easy. They know they have five players. They know that Humanoid is bot. Barrel going in. Again, prediction on that jump back. And now Humanoid's in trouble. Sometimes hope dies pretty quickly after it is born. Flash away from the Shockwave. And Humanoid in a side lane dies. Four man. Uh -oh. One bad thing for Darmon is how late that first dragon was as Khan looks for a kill in the top lane. Need a work coming out. Armor trying to dash away. The charm from Bevel as well. And Humanoid TPs in to what could be an early death. Manages to flash away. Shockwave was used as a man have to retreat. Uh, currently 6,000 gold ahead of Mad. Humanoid looked for the Shockwave but couldn't quite find it. Cannon coming in from the side as well as Ghost is chunked to half. Mad Lions needs to get out of here because it's the all in just a second. There's the ult coming out from Bevel. They know Humanoid has no flash, and they know that they can pick him off easy as that. Canyon on a killing spree, 3 0 and 2. Khan coming in from the side as well as Kaiser. He's just trying to get back to base. He just wants to drink some of the delicious juice of the fountain where he can drink it now. Perfect moment for a Nar TP flank. But they have no I mean, like vision now? because Darwin have done so much. They have one ward here. Perhaps they can look for the Nar TP flank. But meanwhile, in the top lane, bot lane, Humanoid dies once again. And the Nar TP flank. Yeah, nah, that's not it, Mad Lions. Not able to get anything out of it. Bell still looking for a flank of his own. The quickness not yet off cooldown. Armor goes into the Mega. But Dam One Kia are looking to close this one out. Well, and they are looking. They are looking dominant. <laughs> I agree with you. Like, there's, there's not many words that can describe this. Uh, an obliteration, an annihilation, the atomized Mad Lions, all of those. I as mid and bot, and now stepping forward here a little bit aggressively, getting some damage down. Shockwave misses, Khan goes under the back line. There's the bullet time as well, and El Yoya has to use the collateral damage to try and get away from it. Khan dived a little bit too deep there, as Mad Lions were able to get one shot down, but it will not be enough to save their top lane inhibitor tower. They're not contesting us. We're fine. We'll just grab the Baron and we'll look to end the game. No wasting time with Darmon. They know that this is a best of five. They know they've got another game to get inhibitor left exposed, and that is going to be the objective of their choice. And you also close out the possibility that Mad find that perfect uh. team fight. 
the one team fight that, that they often find in games like this. Kaiser was caught out in a bush. Great he awareness. will fall, as you say. Great awareness from Darmon to think about the fact someone could be lying in wait. Look in the face of Humanoid. Look for that scatter of the week. Can't quite land it. Can't going in. Bell was looking for Humanoid as well. And Humanoid is locked up. The bullet time comes out. And Humanoid once again dies. Darmon Kier now on the Nexus Towers. They want to make this one short and sweet. Mad Lions retreat to the fountain, but there is no safety there. Darmwon Kia killing Mad in their own base. We'll look to the Nexus Towers. We'll look to close this one out. And we'll look to go 1-0 up in this series. A nearly flawless game from Darmwon from start to finish. Lane control into mid-game masterpiece. Just an excellent game one and absolute dominance coming out from Darmwon. Into, into Kennen, you expect Elio to play up there, maybe go towards mid and get some mana out of Chomik because as you're early, like an EQ, force him out and then help mid get the push because Humanoid is struck. Can't play it the same way Lee is. You've armed more slowly. He's got to look for these plays. We'll see if he can connect. Flash away from Khan. Early on, there was already in the lightning rush and manages to get away. But that is the first flash but blown. Canyon was able to get an extra camp in that time. Elio may look for the repeat as Armut flashes in. Khan, flash EQ. He dodges away from it but is knocked back by Armut. And Khan will be first blood. Elioya takes it. Safe as armor gonna play. He instead pushes up, tries to clear out the way, but Beryl is here. He was spotted out. Canyon is in the vicinity as well. Khan low, stunned there onto Armut. Armut's trying to keep this wave as far away from his tower as possible to try and avoid this dive. But Beryl is having none of it. Flash forward, then it's played. Beryl tanks it, and Canyon takes the kill. Beautiful. And I just think it was really smart pathing from Canyon. You know, Matt is assuming he went to bot side to take that second scuttle. Instead, he goes back up towards top side. Engage. There's the knockup, and you. We both said they can't punish it, but Khan is caught out once again. Mad Lions. They can't. They can't. <laughs> uh, uh, yeah. You're just staring at those minions, watching three, three them die. The mid lane is really important here. Showmaker has TP, and Humanoid does not. Damon here could look to chase this one forward. And Yoya going in. A triple knockup coming out from Kaiser, and here comes Armut, bringing down the hammer and put the nails in the coffin of Khan once again. Canyon able to escape. Here's the TP from Showmaker, oh, but it's cancelled with the shockwave. Battle underneath the tower. It's a double for Elioya. Canyon trying to get away, but he just can't get the damage down. Elioya is a monster in this game. All die. Yep. So yes, he has to run through the tower to actually do it. But there is the emotion, there is the reaction that you're expecting. It's best when he has something he can have some agency on. We're not trying to call him a bad Graves player, but his ability to impact the game. It's night and day between game and one. Uh, game one and game two again. he's capable of, and Matt just want to keep attacking Khan. Kaiser and Kazi apparently have had a little spat in the break because he is not laning with his AD carry anymore. Instead, Arbut's his new best friend as Khan is caught out. Slicing Maelstrom will be enough to save him as he flashes away from the last bit of damage. That, because of that, he's oh about 600 words. gold behind, but look at the top lane difference. Three now, hang on, TPs. TP. Here it comes. Looking for the ward. There's a Cataclysm Ghost. We'll use his flash preemptively to get away the Solar Flare. Popped as well. Armor unable to hit the Shock Blast, but he can bring down the hammer. Ghost forced away. Barrel already dead. Ghost trying to do what he can to survive this, but Armor able to get away from Showmaker. The Shuffle does not do enough as Mad Lions take two in the bottom lane. Two in the bottom lane. So Mad Lions find themselves more kills on the bot side of the map. And the expectation for Darmon is that they can just trade on this side. Canyon. Oh, Canyon. oh that was so smart. Oh, let's take the Maker's a trip coming. to they LA. Want more. That was a Grand Canyon play from the Darmon jungler. Elioya trying to get away. Bullet Time's going to keep him locked in place. Elioya will get the kill. He goes unstoppable. Canyon gets one back for Darmon. That was unironically a very good zoning all. Back at this, so they forced the... Oh, we not. don't have time. Even though trying to trade with Khan, but the slicing mountain comes out. Khan with Nogari's skin will not play the champ as well as Nogari did last year. Humanoid gets one. He's looking for Showmaker here as well, who will slide in. Humanoid will die, but he makes it by the wolf pit. They are securing the vision as they need to do, so the play is preempted very well by that setup. But they're going There's in. Bullet time. They're looking for Ghost who will flash and heal. Khan on a good flank here. The flash slicing Maelstrom, and Khan rips Mad Lions underneath the tower. They were just about to escape, but the kickback on Takazi will spell his doom. Canyon ticking, ticking, ticking. He'll go down as well, a one for one in the mid lane. I cannot believe that that was a one for one. That is the gold lead in action there for the Mad Lions. Can Showmaker dies before his bodyguards can arrive. Once again, a one for one as the shutdown goes over to Ghost. 
Armour looking for a shot blast here, but can't find his man. Now the TP coming into bot lane. Khan, it seems the Mad Lion saying, hey, you're not allowed to kill. We've got to punish you for that. Humanoid with the command protect, shields up Elioia under the tower, and then thanks him for the kill. And it was huge. That actually, Mel we saw Elioia survive, just barely able to get out of there because he's a 500 gold bounty. Some crazy Baron steals yesterday. Canyon is on the sin, one of the best for stealing, but Mad, what a fight. They're just looking for Beryl here. Already half his health gone. Goes in with the Zenith Blade, pops the stopwatch as well. And look at how low, low Elioia is. Kicks back straight into the waiting arms of the bullets from Ghost Gun. One for one trade once again, but that's very much done one favor. Now you lose the Baron to a Baron steal. That is a way they can lose this game. And there's no pressure on them because they have pretty good scaling too with Oriana, with uh, with the MF as well. Kaiser and Elioia looking for this. Cataclysm coming out. Cards is going to step wait right into the captive audience. Bell going back onto the back line. Kernan Court comes out. Bell is down. TP. TP behind Humanoid. He tries to flash away, but the Emperor's survival will catch him. Showmaker. Pops the stopwatch to stop the shot great, but the bullet time will still rip him to shreds. Mad Lion still looking for this fight as Kaiser underneath the tower. Pops the stopwatch of his own. Armor putting the damage down onto Ghost. He's going to get locked up as well. And Armor just went too deep. Darmwan once again winning out this fight. Look at Khan's positioning. That blue trinket did come down and he knows. So he's just trying to avoid the vision. Armin is aware of the potential flank. And We're going for a 50 50. He's going to go. He is flash. Khan has flash. Slices and dices up the Mad Lions. And they did not respect Khan. Darmwan Kia cleaned the Lions off the map. They wear their pelt as a cape. Fight, and that is such a huge error from Mad Lion. Through Mad now. Dragon started up. It will be the soul humanoid TPing behind here. Khan doesn't have the slicing master for a couple more seconds. Mad Lion should be able to secure the mountain soul at least, but humanoid is in no man's land. Caught by himself, Khan pops the stopwatch to stop the shockwave, but Mad Lion's still looking for the fight. They are able to get the shutdown. Humanoid will die as well. Canyon on the flank now. Kazi, no bullet time. Quickness almost back off for Kaiser. Now it comes in. Armor's still alive, but Beryl's diving onto him. Showmaker pops the stopwatch of his own. Ghost healing up Beryl down. Kazi trying to get away, and Showmaker will die as well. And Kazi's still alive, but Canyon will take him out. Elioia and Kaiser versus Ghost and Canyon. And Elioia tries to get away, but the Deadly Flourish finds his mark once again. He dodges the Shockwave. Kaiser gets the heal with Gleaming Quill and will dodge back. Canyon, no Dragon's Ray. That's one of the reasons Darmwon has the Solar Flare lands into the Deadly Flourish. Stopwatch will stop the Zenith Blade from chasing him down. But Canyon once again gets the kick, knocks Humanoid back, and Humanoid dies. Elioia trying to get onto the back line. Canyon and Bevel are low here. Canyon still has the GA. Showmaker caught up in the Cataclysm Bell. Will get killed off by Kazi. And Mad Lions may have found a guard here. But Khan is having none of it. Pops the stopwatch, slices through Mad Lions. Khan, in his last worlds, doesn't even want to lose a game. He will kill off the Mad Lions as Dan One marched through mid. Wow, an insane comeback from Dan One. They have the wave. Only Kaiser is alive. No, he's he's going to be shut down. Canyon won't lose his life either, and Dan One are going to match point. There is an aura around Dan One that just seems unstoppable. 2 0 over the Mad Lions. Showmaker said in the live video, we don't lose. Beryl is now his support this game, and we will look to rectify that in the top side of the match. And I'm really terrified for any any kind of combination of 2v2s, 3v3s up on the... They will be spotted. Here we are, the 2v2. Shock bus goes wide. And yeah, the, the W blue. starts Sonic Wave coming out as well. Canyon Force back. And is having to try and retreat back towards his tower. will heal up once again. They know that they're stronger in the 2v2. Azel talks so much about it in the draft, where the entire top side, their ability to skirmish, and if you try to fight them, you just... So oh, they're actually is. playing double predator here. Oh, so Armit's dying. They're it? looking That's to roam. Armit's definitely dying. Canyon here. TP available for Humanoid, but once again, it's Canyon and Khan teaming up in the early game. It's the Darm One show, and Armit's just a player in it. Canyon looking for the damage, safeguards in. We'll have to flash the final tower shot, but both of them get out alive. He didn't actually get potions, and then you just TP oh. back, Cannon's and you are that smite. low. Watch this special delivery. Canyon didn't even need to smite it. Oh, <laughs> word. That's just not fair. It's seen on Syndra. Uh, it is a champion that does have pretty effective moves, but generally, you know, if he thinks it's just going to be a farm lane... Khan has flash, armor has no flash. Khan decides against investing for it. Bell with the bone skewer got the start onto Kazi here. Kazi still has flash heal. We'll try and get away with the heal through the ignite. It's just not enough. Kazi down. Humanoid now joins the fray in the bottom lane. Armored, as you said, Betty, a couple of seconds too early, but he is dead in the top side. El Yoya looking for the gank here, as he does have flash and has the body slam. Canyon on his way up. Kaiser on his way there oh. as well. Khan able to dodge to the side of the body slam, but Kaiser will get the knockup. 
and Khan will fall before Canyon can get there. Canyon in the end arrives as Elioya tries to flash away. Kaiser body blocking the Sonic Wave. Canyon doesn't quite have the damage to take down that with Khan. Yeah, but here's Showmaker. Done. Flash, scatter, down goes Elioya. You find Dalmon with a 1.5k gold lead only seven minutes in. And that is actually one of the things Pikes gives you that Rakan doesn't, is the follow up after someone flashes away from you. Showmaker though, caught out here in the mid lane. Chaos Storm will be enough, it ticks him down. Humanoid takes the kill. Nice. They're able to get that kill, but they've got to keep Armut in this game, and it's just looking so oh, bad I mean, for him. Armut's dead as he went in with a cycle, and he is just about able to walk away from this one, but Canyon is waiting in the wings, and I don't think Mad Lions knew. Shock Blast hits on the Kaiser Canyon, as you say, has the six. Dragon's Rage, Kaiser's out of range of any sort of battle dance. Bevel, <laughs> excuse me, sir, that's a chaos if I've ever seen I watch all comps and, you know, really are able to play a lot of different styles, but we are potentially finding a kill on top side. Armor going in with the Cyclone, Khan's gonna knock him back, Armor flashes. But the Wukong just doesn't do enough damage yeah. with only a Sheen. Dumb one though, able to back away in the mid lane as well. Down, the wave, the bot lane. The wave is actually in such a good position here for Kazi. Meant the barrel had to force the skewer out a little bit earlier because Kazi could back away behind the wave and now Mad Lions can try and turn it back around. Barrel still has flash here. Kaiser, no flash. Skewer comes out. Kaiser tries to stop him. The ghost gets caught up. And with the bullet turn, that's enough damage for Damwon Kia. Four members strong now in the bottom lane. Starts to back away. Humanoid up towards the top side is fighting. And Khan will fall to armor. Mad Lions start to turn this one around. Showmaker flashes away. Canyon kills off Elioyo as well. Really good observation there. Oh, another engage. There's the quickness. Ghost caught up in it. The charm comes out and Ghost will fall. One more auto from Kazi is enough. Now that's a pretty big pick for Matt because Look, Ghost oh, has know. just invested his TP. Uh, Canyon does have the Herald. Sorry, I just noticed that. Humanoid has two levels on Showmaker right now. It's oh, but hit. Kaiser doesn't have any levels. He's back in the fountain. Barrel will take the kill. And that's the lockup you can do to Rakan. Kaiser, but that's playing towards his bot side. Well, it's time to clear out the wave. Humanoid, though, caught out Showmaker. There's the kick back, and Humanoid has to flash. Tries to get to the gravity well, but just can't do it in time. Kazi will get the final auto attack off here. Flashes oh. underneath the towers. He tries to turn it back onto Canyon. Uses the gore drinker for a little bit of a heal. Barrel and goes to hit to join the fray. Double up. Not quite enough damage. Canyon able to walk away. Wounded from this one as Kazi will fall. And Barrel goes on a killing spree. That's similar in 10, 15 minutes. Well, hey, maybe you got a shot, but it's very difficult to stop him. You can look for catches like this as Khan tries to flash away. Cyclone will get the knock up. Explosive cast knocks him back. Khan into the bush and immediately down as Armut will take the kill in that 2v1. The longest flank you have seen today is going all the way around playing Ring Around the Rosies with that blue buff. Showmaker looking for the stun though. And Kaiser's nowhere near this. Humanoid caught out. Damon Kia pushing in with the Rift Herald. Kaiser now steps across a ward. Doesn't know it as the Rift Herald's cleared out with a bullet time. And Beryl onto Kaiser. Jumps away. Pulled back with a bone skewer, but there's no follow up. No Phantom Undertow. Beryl gets onto the Blast Cone there with a good death marks the spot, but won't be able to do anything more. And looking for that second title, I mean, obviously incredible players here trying to secure themselves that spot in League of Legends history. Humanoid you know, flashes away from the Scatter of the Week. Kaiser Hold looking for the engage. Chaos Storm, Kaiser going in with a quickness, but he only catches onto Canyon as Showmaker is able to flash away. Khan now joins the fray. Beryl looking at those health bars hungrily. Death from below could mark the end of Mad Lion's game. Humanoid, Bone Skewer, no flash into the Phantom Undertow and the death from below as X marks the spot and X marks Humanoid's death. A great kick from Canyon as Ghost gets the second. Mad Lions are routed. Mad Lions are running for the hills, but Darmwon Kia will not give them an inch. With Ziggs, they just make your life so difficult and they're looking to de completely destroy the Mad Lions. Bell misses the death from below, but we'll get the final auto attack dominating now on this pike. Armor going in, Bell no mana, but he's got just enough health with the ghost water dive to get out. It's an ace for Dom one. 10,000 gold their lead. 1,000 armor now looking for that flank, looking for that pincer maneuver. Kaiser has the quickness, doesn't have a flash. Here comes Armut onto the back line with the Cyclone, a possibility, gets two knocked up. Kazi coming in as well with the bullet time and there's one. Mad Lions have found a fight around the Baron. They found the fight they were looking for. They managed to get the pincers, they managed to get the kills. Kazi they can get them all. And they could get them all. Mad Lions fight back, breathe life into Europe as they clean up Dom one. And, 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 and just like that, Mad find themselves with a team fight win and they can actually just go for the Baron here. Canyon is still alive and that risk of a smite still is very- 1,000 armor now looking for that flank, looking for that pincer maneuver. 
Kaiser has the quickness, doesn't have a flash. Here comes Armour onto the back line with the Cyclone, a possibility, gets two knocked up. Kazi coming in as well with a bullet time and there's one. Mad Lions have found a fight around the Baron. They found the fight they were looking for. They managed to get the pincers, they managed to get the kills. Kazi they can get them all. and they could get them all. Mad Lions fight back, breathe life into Europe as they clean up Darm 1. And, 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 and just like that, Mad find themselves with a team fight win, and they can actually just go for the back. And here comes the TP as Dalm one investing resources into this. Baron will be smited. Elioia will secure it. Showmaker comes in, dodges away from Kaiser. It's gonna die again. The damage coming down on Showmaker. Good side of the week, but now they're in a 2v5. Mad Lions are collapsing, but now the TPs rain in. Four members of Dalm one immediately react. Ghost, Beryl, and Khan are here, and Armut might just be sacrificed. Elioia, no explosive card for him. Armut pulled back. Armour taken down, Barrel gets him as Humanoid puts the damage down across the Warburg Canyon with a smite, will heal himself back up. Huge influx of gold into your back pocket. You suddenly realize, oh hang on, yeah. we are suddenly so much stronger. Getting that extra item suddenly changes a lot Kaiser. of matchups. In with the quickness, and perhaps down with the quickness goes Ghost. Kaiser though will fall. One for one trade so far, Barrel looking for the hooks over the wall but can't land them. Baron remains for 20 seconds as Mad look for a tier two in the mid lane for Beryl and Showmaker in prime position to make this one hurt for the Mad Lions. There's one, looking for two as Alioya flashes away. Showmaker just needs a single sphere to chunk out the A, uh, the jungler of Mad Lions. The chase continues here. Beryl just needs a skewer. Alioya will be spotted. Beryl goes in, ignite. And Alioya tick, 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 tick down as Beryl takes another kill. Humanoid will get him in response. But Showmaker waiting in the wings. Kaiser going in. Ghost, of course, has the Mega Inferno bomb. And it lands on to Humanoid and Kaiser. Cannon going onto Armour down towards the bottom side as DK. Look for the fight. Dumb one continue to push forward. Showmaker forced away. Here's Cyclone Chase, though. kicked away. And here God! comes Card. And what a better way to find the picks than with a flank TP. Uh, first bullet flank running, sorry, from Khan. Bullet time used as well. Armour pushed up, up horse off to the top side. Ghost gets one. Kazi next on the menu here for Barrel, but he just can't get the damage down. The dragon goes over the dumb one, and Mad Lions get a couple of kills. Scary, Sonic man. wave on Kazi, as you say. Be scared of the darkness, because there lies Canyon. There be Dragon's down one. Looking for the hook as Beryl. Unable to get onto Armour, but Armour's just stunned up and Khan dived in. Armour's popped a Cyclone, popped a Flash, and tried to get out of there. Mad Lion's going to start up the Infernal. Beryl able to get away down towards the bottom side of the fight. Mad Lions are, have been able to secure the Dragon. They stopped the Soul. But can they get out? But for it, they lose Armour. Look at the damage from the Chaos Storm. Humanoid injecting a little chaos into our veins this game as he forces Ghost and Khan away. But Mad Lions are on the wrong side of the rip. It was still, but quicker than it was before. Oh, and show it's slower me, still, because Canyon's not doing it. And it's Showmaker waiting in the wings with Beryl for the assist. Ghost secures the kill. And now Elioia is dead. Mad Lions, what can you do without your jungler, without your top laner? I'm actually kind of surprised that they didn't stay around. I think that there was a, an ability to challenge this. So many summoners are down on Damwon. Karzi has everything. Can he spot it? They can know, they actually yeah. stop him? He's trying to get the recall off, but they stop him in oh, his tracks. Bad. And as you say, that's very bad. He dodges the skewer, but you can't dodge death. It Bone skewer will pull him back. Alioya tries to flash away, but he is stunned up, oh. and he is dead. Kaiser's going to get the charm onto the back line, and Showmaker dies as well. Jungle up in mid right now. Khan trying to get him from the side, but he's cycloned up by Armut. Khan still putting the damage down, but he just can't get enough in. He will, in the end, kill off Armut. 3v4 now in favor of Darmwon Kia. Advancing, pushing forward towards Mad Lions as they Carol's try to on the flank. But the flank is here, and Beryl has the death from below. And perhaps the X will mark the death of Mad Lions. Canyon in the pit. Infernal Soul on the menu for Darmwon if they can get it, but Humanoid still very healthy. Look at the still patience. The mana. Canyon secures the Infernal. Darmwon Kia trying to survive. Beryl stuns up Kaiser there. Car pops a stopwatch. Ghost on a rampage. Putting the damage down onto Kazi as well, who still has the GA. Beryl, though, able to shut down Humanoid. And although Kazi survives, he will watch and die as Darmwon Kia clean up the fight. With you, oh, they're going for the end here, Alioya. Showmaker just does so much damage. Alioya is down. Armor next up. Don't want here able to take down the inhibitor, and they are looking for the end, as you say, Azale. Undefeated, nine and zero. Oh. Don't want Kia. In the pursuit of perfection, they are found worthy once again, and they will fight T1 in semis.